Hello and welcome to Writing with Writey. I'm Dowd Wright and I've put together this series of lessons on how to study a modern play which is aimed at GCSE students. There are four lessons in this series on the play DNA by Dennis Kelly as follows. So we're going to be looking at aspects of a play, the structure of the play DNA, the themes within the play, and character and relationships within the play. I really do hope that you will find this series of lessons to be useful. Welcome to lesson one. We're going to look at aspects of a play for the purposes of GCSE English Literature. We're going to be learning to identify and describe the different aspects of a play. And what I'm looking for is how you can begin to consider the aspects of a play when you are reading or performing them. A play, like a novel, can be understood by examining its structure, its themes, the context in which it is set and in which it was written, and the plot, characters and language. Unlike a novel, plays are obviously meant to be performed because they are works of drama. So when considering the different aspects of a play, we also have to consider stage direction. The way that a play is put together is important. Acts and scenes help to structure the plot and also provide insights in real time to events so that the audience experiences the drama. As you read through the play, think about how it is divided you will note that there are four scenes and I want you to consider how this helps shape the play as a whole. An important aspect of a play, or a novel for that matter, are the themes that are contained within them. They are central. You could argue that a story, or a play, is just a means by which to a writer or a playwright is getting their points across. I often describe characters as coat hangers by which a writer hangs his or her ideas upon. Themes are at the heart of a writer's purpose. Why write this play? Why these ideas? What does the writer or playwright wish to get across to us? These are the kind of things that we have to think about when we're considering themes. As you read through the play, I want you to think about the ideas that Dennis Kelly explores. Character and plot. Storytelling is an ancient form and it's used to teach or inform us in an entertaining way. Characters are basically living expressions of themes as it's through them, the way that characters behave and speak and interact with each other, that we understand and share not only their experiences, but how important the ideas are that they represent. For example, bullying might be a theme within a play, and therefore you would expect such a play to have a bully and a victim or victims. Structure and stage direction. It's easy to miss structure and stage directions when reading a play. Plays have been written to be acted out and not read per se. It is necessary to consider how a play has a visual impact on the audience. Acts and scenes are not drawn up by accident. Unlike in film, playwrights are limited by the physical space given to them by a stage or a theatre and it is why they have to be imaginative in the ways that they manipulate 
the audience as witnesses to the action and the drama. Stage direction dictates all manner of things such as how actors may perform or dress or enter or leave a scene. So when studying and writing about a play, it's crucial that you consider those directions that you'll find alongside the actual text of the play itself. Language. Language operates on many levels. We should consider what is both spoken and also unspoken, because silence can be as powerful as words and phrases. We need to think about the dialects that may be used. How do the characters interact with each other? It's through that language, the vocabulary, the phrases, the intonation, that the writer or the playwright's ideas are given life and communicated to us. Thank you for watching. I hope that you subscribe to the channel and hopefully there will be some more videos coming soon.